Hi, this is Mr. Barry from Columbia University. My name is Bruno Isaac Barry from NYU. This problem we're going to solve four different ways, right? Uh, what do you want to find? We're going to find the time, uh, the velocity when the time is 3.5. Okay, so what is the velocity over here? All right, so Isaac, what is the velocity from 0 to 2 seconds? It should be 4 divided by 2, which is 2 meters per second. So 2 meters per second. And from 3 to 4, 3 to 2 to 3 seconds? Well, it's at rest. Okay, so uh, I mean 2 to 3 seconds, right? Yeah. All right. And what about 3 to 4 seconds? Well, that's complicated. We'd have to figure that out using some other but it's a straight line, definitely. But at four seconds? At four seconds, it look at four seconds it turns around, so it's probably got to be zero. Okay, so this should be v. We're gonna find out, and this should be v minus, right? Negative v, yes. Uh, so this should we be. No, it's exactly negative v because it starts and ends at the same y value. Right. So we're gonna find that out. Find that value. Yeah. So how can we find this value? Okay, so this area is hmm. b h. Uh, half B is rather. Well, of course, B is clearly 1 because that's 4 minus 3. And A is? is? And A is? 8 minus 4. Which is 4. And B is 1, you said. So H. So velocity is how much? 8. Velocity is 8. And then? That's minus 8. Minus 8. Okay. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to solve this way. Eight. I'm going to do, okay. So what is the point over here? That's three comma eight. And what is the point over here? That is four comma zero. Okay. So I'm gonna use um, VF plus VI over two. This is how I'm gonna find the velocity. So velocity is VF. What is VF? VF is zero. VF is zero. And VI is eight. So divide by two. So velocity is? Four. Four. Okay, and the second way I'm going to do it is um, slope. What is the slope of this one, Isaac? Well, it looks like the rise is negative 16 and the run is 2, so it's negative 8. Uh, delta T, TF minus? TI. TF. So what is VF? VF is negative 8. Negative 8. VI is? Uh, 8. And divide by? 5 minus 3. Or you can use these ones to not be confusing. Zero right. And eight, right. But no matter what, it will still give you a negative 8. So now y is equal to mx plus b. Yeah, and m is negative 8. y is 8, m is negative 8, x is 3 plus b. So b is 32. Okay, okay so, so our, y is? So our equation is negative 8x plus mx plus b, right? So y is? Negative m is negative 8, x, x is 3.5, and b is? 32. 32. So y is? Uh, negative 8 times 7 over 2 is negative 28. Negative 20. 28. Negative 28. Plus 32. Plus 32. Which is equal to 4. Yeah, 4. So I solve it two different ways, and now Isaac is going to solve it two different ways. This quadratic motion doesn't start from t equals 0. It starts from t equals 3. So what I'm going to do is subtract the total time by 3. So I'm going to move the initial time over by 3 seconds. So this is going to be considered our new initial point in time. So essentially, what I'm looking at is a change in reference frame. Now, this used to be 3, but I'm writing it as 0. This used to be 4, but now I'm writing it as 1. Uh, this used to be 5, but now I'm writing it as 2. In the same way, the point we're trying to figure out the velocity at used to be 3.5, but now I'm writing it as 0 0.5, just 1 half. All right, so now all we have to consider is the graph itself. Let me grab this chalk right over here. As we can see, it starts at d equals 4 and ends at d equals 4 with a max distance of d or displacement of d equals 8. So we get, oh, this is a very smooth chalk. 
this sort of quadratic looking thing. Uh, he drew a better curve than me. I guess I'll... Yep, that's better. And we have this vertex right over at t equals 1 in the new reference frame, of course. That's 4 in the old reference frame. So now, let's figure out what the equation of this is. It's a quadratic function, clearly. So, that means it must take the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So I'll write that as f of x. Now we know f of 0 is equal to 4. f of 1 is equal to 8. And f of 2 is equal to 4 again. And the question is, what is f of 0 0.5? Well, this is more than enough information to take on this problem. So, we know that f of 0 is equal to 4. So, what happens when we plug in 0? We get a times 0 squared plus b times 0 squared plus c. So, that's just telling us that c is equal to 4. And then, what's the second equation telling us? f of 1 is equal to 8. So that means a times 1 squared, which is just a, plus b times 1, oh, I don't know why I wrote this, which is just b, plus c is equal to 8. And since c is equal to 4 from the first equation, that means a plus b is equal to 4. Don't get too crowded. And finally, f of 2 is equal to 4. So a times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. What is that? 4a plus 2b plus c equals 4. And we already know c is 4, so that means 4a plus 2b equals 0. So 2b is negative 4a, which means that b is negative 2a. So we plug that back into this equation in order to get a minus 2a is equal to 4, so minus a is equal to 4, so that means a is equal to negative 4, and of course that means that b is equal to negative 2 times negative 4, so b is equal to 8, and we already know c is equal to 4 from earlier. So that means that our total expression is f of x, no, I won't write it here, f of x is equal to negative 4x squared, okay, sure then, I'll erase this. Okay, negative 4x squared, b is 8, so plus 8x. Negative 4x squared, plus 8x, plus 4. Okay, so now we have to figure out what f of 0 0.5 is. Oh, wait, no, that's not what we're figuring out. Figuring out what f prime, the derivative of f at 0 0.5 is. So, of course, we can't use calculus on this quite yet. I mean, we can't use calculus on this at all for this method. So, how do we figure out the velocity? Well, we know distance over time for constant acceleration, which since this is a quadratic graph, it must have constant acceleration, is equal to half at squared, so you can see that similarity, plus vit, so you can see that, plus d naught. So that means d naught is 4, vi is 8, and half a is negative 4, which means that a is negative 8. And we also know that vf or v in general, is equal to vi plus at. So we write, since vi is 8, and then since a is negative 8, we have this. And now all we need to do is plug in t equals 0 0.5. And would you look at that? We've got 4 meters per second. Now the other way to do this is via calculus. Once we obtain this, all, uh, all we have to do is just take the derivative. So, df dx is just equal to minus 4 times the derivative of x squared is 2x, plus 8 times the derivative of x is 1, plus 
all constants go to zero when you take the derivative. So we get minus 8x plus 8, which is basically the same exact thing as we got over here. But for further checks, you can just plug that in one more time and get minus 4 plus 8 is once again equal to 4. So we already know v equals 8 minus 8d. But of course, this only works in our time sifted reference frame. So if we want to get back to the original reference frame, we're actually going to want to plug in v equals 8 minus 8 times t minus 3. So if we do that, we get 8 minus 8t plus 24, which gets 32 minus 8t, which is the exact same thing we saw in the first method to solve the problem. Now we plug in 3 and a half, and we get 32 minus 28 is equal to 4, once again reaffirming the answer.